First thing being done is checking all the locks. Double checking all the locks. Steps back. Checking all doors. Safety first. We have Fred locked in at my house. Can we answer his habitat? Copy that, thank you. You do. Alrighty, so we checked all the locks and we radioed staff, so we're going into the enclosure. When we clean the pool, we grab some bleach, as well as some bleach, diluted bleach spray, and we have some scrubbies. And first we're actually, you can see Noah right now, he's actually taking out some of his toys before we start scrubbing the, um, the pool. But the diluted bleach spray just helps us get it out a little bit easier, the, the algae around it. When you say you're going to go do toys. I'm going to go grab toys, so what we do is we um, move the toys around every time we go into an enclosure, um, just so the cats can um, have them up here and then roll them back down. Oh yeah, he plays in his pool pretty much all day. Yeah, I, saw him, uh, I saw him scuba diving the other day. Yeah. <laughs> And you are doing? I'm currently trying to find any poop in the habitat. Um, so when we're cleaning it out, we always want to make sure that we find all of it so that everything's clean. So. Do you find that different cats have favorite spots that are? Yes, yeah, so different cats um, will like different spots where they like to poop. Um, so Fred, he doesn't really have one yet. He actually poops a lot of time um, in that den area over there. Um, so. Uh, we actually usually don't find a lot here because we like to do that quite commonly in there. So, but we're still trying to look in here and make sure that everything's on. So now where does that water drain to? So the drain actually goes underground right over there on the side. Okay. And it actually gets flushed down that way. And then we can actually fill these pools with that pipe there. It comes right in. We can open and close it from the outside too. Open and close the drain you mean? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that. You said that you can open and close the drain from the outside? Yeah. Fred waiting on his pool to be cleaned. So, well, he is cleaning the pool. One is going around 
searching for poop. And the other one is going around moving the toys. Now that's a feat. <laughs> so every time they come in to clean, they move all the toys around, search for any stray poop, and clean the pool. So they move the toys and put them in different places. And then you can see Fred's up there getting pretty excited. He knows what's going on. They are messing with his toys. Fred is only locked in the den area for the cleaning time. So after you get it completely cleaned and rinsed, how long does it take to fill? Um, it kind of depends on each pool, but it can take, I don't know, Cam, what do you think? An average time for the pool is like... Maybe spray it out one more time. Yeah. No, I mean for filling up the pool, how long? Oh, um, probably most of the time 30 minutes to an hour and a half. Um, like, like you said, it really depends on which pool it is. Um, okay, and Scott, on a previous video, you showed us how large your well house uh, water tanks are. Tell me about your water system to push enough water for these pools. Here at Turpentine Creek, we've had to build a water system that's big enough for a small city. We've got three wells, all different sizes. Our main well that uh, pumps the water and fills the tanks for the animals is a is a 1,800 foot deep well. It's in the Rubidoux Aquifer, which is really clean, good water. And uh, we have a pump that uh, pumps the water up to two tanks. The two tanks are 10,000 gallons each, and that that water has to still be rationed because um, when we're filling pools and cleaning up after the cats and all that's going on at once we can empty those tanks and then it takes about an hour to fill them back up so but and they constantly fill while they're while they're emptying so we push a lot of water around here and uh, so they rotate the filling and cleaning of pools um, I, last I knew a couple months ago they were doing five a day five pools a day around the property we're going to build about 40 more pools, so I'm wondering where we're going to have to add another tank or two because I really think we may have to. I'm trying not to, but uh, if we have to, we have the well capacity, which is wonderful. So we can pump enough water, but storing it to, to, to be used all in a, a, you know, a four or five hour period of a day is what the trick is. So we may have to add a little more to capacity in the future. So now what's the process after you finish? Okay, so basically, um, we make sure that all of our tools are out and everything and then somebody will say am I good to lock up once we realize that we have everything we're not leaving anything in the habitat and somebody will close the door and basically after that she'll recheck her locks I'll double check them and I will both say you know my tractor gate's good and then while we're doing that Cameron's actually putting the bleach into the pool after she closes the drain it's about 15 ounces of bleach for one of these pools and then we'll start filling it um, Bam Bam when we first put him in his area, <laughs> yeah. behind the waterfall, he could hear the, the water running under the ground and he started digging for it. Oh, I think I remember something.